Hey there, Ben Lipper here. This robot is absolutely ridiculous, and it really only works because of like a strange loophole in the rules. But it scored 266 points, so I thought I would show it to you. Go ahead and check this out. Now let me explain what's about to happen here. So this first part of the match is pretty normal. It's a driver skills match. We're just going to score this ball on the goal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to park in front of this other goal. This robot has no ability to pick up balls, but it can be human loaded into. You see the rules for human loading say some very specific things. First, they say that a human loader has to be the one to load the ball. They say that the balls have to contact the floor inside the starting zone before they contact the robot, which we're doing. And they cannot be in contact with the human loader and the robot at the same time. You'll notice that's not happening either. Um, it also says that rapid loaded balls cannot contact the goal wall or the floor outside the starting zone before being retrieved by a robot. These balls are in the air. They're not contacting the floor or the field wall. So technically this is legal. Should you build this robot? No. Is this going to be illegal very soon? Most likely, yes. This is kind of just a loophole in the game that we happen to find. If you do want some actually good robots that really could score you points and won't be illegal soon, um, there's a video here and a video here. You can go and click either of those. Those are awesome. We got one robot that's built almost entirely from instructions on Vex's website. We got another robot. This robot is slightly more challenging to build, um, but drives faster and is really cool as well. So go ahead and check out one of those. Other than that, though, I can't wait to see what you build and have an awesome season.